How's it going, Blue Demons? Today, we have the second round of our tip-off tournament here with DePaul. Our expectations are going to be relatively high after we won against Louisiana Lafayette with a buzzer beater, a walk-off, four-point play. Ray Braxton getting the and one. Absolutely a phenomenal way to win that game. And even more importantly, it was our first one of the season. So we will go up against Bucknell in this second round of our tournament. And hopefully things will go just as well. I would love to make it to the semifinal. Just really start to get our wits about us as a team. And also, I'm sure that it'll help us with our recruiting. And speaking of, because we're only passing uh, one day from the last episode... We don't really have any recruiting to do, so we can pretty much get straight into this game. Coming in again, just like every other team that we've played so far, we are the higher overall team. But my lack of skill in the game paired with our sliders obviously introduces a little bit more parity into these matchups. So certainly not going to be easy. The Bison playing out of the Patriot League. Can we get it done? Is the real question. Their starting lineup? Well, I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's better than ours, but again, all our stats are kind of messed up. They're shooting 41% from three, 44 as a team, and they are doing a nice 69 from the line. But if we can get going, we'll definitely have a decent shot to win this game. All right, here we are, round two of the Puerto Rico tip-off tournament. And we'll see what we can do. I feel like I said Puerto Rico weird there. <laughs> Jason West is our uh, Star Watch player today, but I think it's always going to be Ray Braxton. If we can go down low to Jason, that would be good, but that's not always something that we'll expect to be able to do. Question is, can we finally win a tip-off? The answer is no. Jason West just doesn't have the vertical for that, as they're going to start... We'll expect things to go slow. They have a decent amount of assists per game, so probably should expect a lot of ball movement. But the question is, what can we do just to prevent them from getting nice, easy, open looks? A little double team here. Braxton gets the steal. We can push it up to Webster, and Omri lays it up and in. A weird fast break, but we get it done, and that's a great way to start this game. Looking for some movement again. They're going to pass it. Clawson trying to make guard him. We just got to keep our guys in front of us and we'll be fine. And this one, oh, great screen. He's going to drive, kick it out. The three, I jumped. I Webster jumped again and they're all over the place. Finally, a pass into the paint. Good contest there. No difficulties with that stop. Let's run it. Oh, uh, let's go down low. Jason West, back your man down. Go up into the body. Get your own offensive reboard. <laughs> there it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, good start to this game. So we're up for nothing, and I want to keep pressuring, but the question is, will I make a mistake, or will they be able to capitalize? A little drive in here. Jason West, good defense, makes him pick up the dribble, and there's the first three that we've seen from the AI in a long time. That was a decent look. Just bounces off the rim, doesn't quite fall, and Braxton, I think we're going to follow this up with a three of our own. Wait for the screen. He goes underneath it. Ray can't cash it home and we can't get the offensive rebound either that was a long board but Vilma can't get there in time Omri's gonna be the one fronting the point guard here as he's looking to drive good job staying in front oh they went for a little alley-oop we did a nice job deflecting it away but we couldn't get the pass thought he was shooting the three backed off and we just let him get an open shot there in the paint so the Bison get their first points of the game. Oh, no, this is a terrible shot. Vilma goes up. <laughs> I saw somebody open. Jason West. Oh, I don't know if that got blocked by the rim or the defender. We had the opportunity for second chance points, but it doesn't work. I'm going to kind of shy off my man here. See what they're doing. This, uh, this guy with the ball right now looks to be the big threat on offense so far. Sagged off just a little bit. The corner three. Rattles around and falls home, and Bucknell takes a 5-4 lead. And it's time maybe for us to continue to push. Pass it down to Jason West, into the body, gets the foul, and one. And we retake the lead with a chance to extend it from the free throw line. Certainly, we don't expect me to make these ever, but that one, up and in. So the and one is good, and it's a three-point play as we retake the lead 7-5. 
Fuck no. Doing a decent job moving the ball compared to other teams that we've seen so far. That looks like it's going to be a decent drive. Kind of got off of my man. He passes it in expecting... Oh. Kind of just jumped expecting the jump shot because we've been seeing that a lot. But just left the man open. Jason West gets burned. And now look at this. Pushing it up. Jason West. Wide open. Drive it. Pass it in. And we get to the line once again. The foul on James Williams there. And it'll be Tim Clawson shooting two. First one looked good, and it is. And the second shot is also good. We got one at the very beginning of the blue bar and one at the very end. So we'll take that just about every single time. Bucknell has some bench players on already. As we're already a couple minutes gone out of this first half. Six minutes remaining in this one. They're going to just keep trying to set up some interesting motion here. Always trying to protect the paint as they're really dribbling the clock out. I'm tempted to just try to bring some pressure. He's going to throw the alley-oop. It looked like it was going to get swatted, but West with good defense. That shot's bothered enough to be off. Yeah, let's just keep passing it. Give it to Webster. Omri driving into the lane. Kind of pulls up on a weird jump shot. I thought he was going to go for the layup, but ended up holding it too long and the shot's off. Double team here. They're going to pass it out. Wide open corner three. He doesn't take it, though. He had one go in earlier in the game, but just doesn't elect to shoot the other one. That's fantastic news for us. We definitely can pull Jason West away there and double team in the paint here or just outside of it. He's driving a great drive. Nothing that we could do to slow him down. They're trying to double team us here. Give it to Webster. Oh, we know that Omri can shoot the three occasionally, but just not worth it there. Clawson looking to drive, kicks it out. Braxton. Can pass it into Vilma, and Vilma just misses the short-range jumper. We steal the ball back, though, and he makes it. That's big. Maybe a little bit cheesy to steal that one when you know the pass is coming, but, you know, there's cheese in NCAA 14 as well, and we use it occasionally. And we'll just use that occasionally if we need it as well. Uh, inside five minutes in this first half, 11-9. Keep in the lead, but it's a back-and-forth game so far. Pass back into the paint. That's what we expect, and just a little hook up and in. They're trying to play some big uh, full-court defense on us, but it hasn't really worked so far. Trying to get a little bit of motion. Oh, did not mean to pass that one. Oh, Clawson almost had a beautiful alley-oop. I pressed the wrong button. West just couldn't quite finish the layup. Tie ball game. Bucknell with a chance to take the lead. Oh, easy deflection. That's big. All right, let's let's uh, let's extend this a little bit. They're going to not be on us. I don't know, terrible defense. You know that he's a shooter. He got to step up, take away the opportunity, but Ray Braxton drills the three, and that leads back up to three for us. How about a drive here? Kicking it out. They're going to shoot a three of their own, and that was beautiful. Okay, 21. Got to watch for him because that was a nice shot, and we left him way too open. How about Ray Braxton? Pressure, giving it to Vilma. We know he can't shoot the three, but take a step in. Is that a bank shot? This one's turning into some quick scoring as they go to a quick pass and shot there. Braxton, just keep pushing it forward. If this is how it's going to go, we will be fine with it. Clawson, nice layup. We got to get them to realize that that uh, full court defense is not going to work. Not at all. How about this? Another pass into the lane. Deflected. Uh, deflected again. Stripped. We're pushing the tempo. Ray Braxton into the body. The layup is good. No foul. Although a lot of contact, but extend it to a four-point lead. They're going to look to drive here. Two and a half minutes left in this first half. Is he stuck there? If he's stuck, then that's going to be a problem. No, I just ran right past him. That's a beautiful little spin move. Lays it up and in. And again, we're probably going to be seeing some defense, but we get Ray Braxton out into some open space. The nice pass. Vilma misses the layup. Oh, he's hurt too. Holding the back there. We could be losing Vilma for a while. You don't like to see that. Anytime a player's holding the back, that could be uh, out for quite a while. Driving awfully quickly there. Kind of caught me off guard looking at the stat that was popping up. But we keep in front of him, force him to pass it away. Minute and 53 here. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Screens all over the place. Where's the open shot going to come from? 
Or is they just going to drive for it? Omri Webster gets burned. And he makes the layup. All right. Well, let's just keep pushing. Like, if they're not going to stop us, Braxton into the lane. That's seven points for him. Inside a minute and 20 now. And this looks like it's going to be a drive. The foul. No and one. But Vilma takes his first. And we'll send them to the line. We really haven't had many uh, stoppages in place. So finally the bench unit getting a chance to come out here. First free throw is good. A one point game. This could be big for Bucknell. If they can manage to score it, it's off. I gave up the offensive rebound with Steve Bolton. That is brutal. Now Clawson leading the offense, but we're going to be looking to Caldwell, I think. If we can get him open from three, that could be big. Or if we could just find Harvey down low. No, he's too slow. Kick it out to Caldwell. Give him the screen. We'll let the freshman drive the guard. Nice layup with the right hand. Gets the center to kind of step out and then goes around him inside a minute now. Bench unit trying to get it done here as the starters will rest up for that second half. Let's put some pressure on these guys. Could be a three-point shot. He elects to pass into the paint. Webster, decent job for running that shot. Just enough to bother it. They've got a guy who looks a little bit injured. And Clawson again trying to push up. And again, I want a nice screen. We know that Clawson can't do much to shoot, but he should be able to pass the ball. Well, that was a terrible shot attempt. Pass it out to Omri Webster. Clock really burning down. Shot clock is off. So we kind of want to take the last shot here. And that's what we're going to do. Five seconds. Look for the screen. Inside the paint. Trying to kick it out. Caldwell at the buzzer. That was an ugly looking shot. Maybe I overestimated the amount of time he would have to get that one off. But, uh, well, at halftime, we have the lead. Uh, it's looking interesting. 24 to 23. Can we finish it off in the second half is going to be the real question. As we come in here for this second half, though, we just got to continue to, well, keep those, uh, keep the tempo up. If we can do that, we're fine. And as this second half uh, starts, I'd like to ask you to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. As payment, we'll, uh, we'll just shoot a quick three with Ray Braxton. The screen, they're kind of sagging off. And it's off. Well, still like the video anyways, please. Helps the channel out tremendously. It let's me know that you guys in are enjoying this series. That was an uh, interesting pass into the paint. Decent defense from Vilma. Enough to bother it. And he's able to get the board as well. Let's pass it up to Clausen. Drive into the lane. Nobody there to stop him. Unable to get the block either. That was a little bit scary. But we can continue to open this lead up as much as we can. Oh, this one a quick pass into the paint. Oh my gosh. Why am I jumping early at that one? He's behind the basket. I gave him a free layup. Uh, is it going to matter, though? Kicking it out. Omri Webster, the wide open three. Drills it. That's huge. 29-25. I think four points is our largest lead of the game, and we've matched that once again here. But we need it to be bigger. We haven't seen any big leads. Oh, great. That time getting burned again. But the block, and we're going to recover the, the rebound as well. Omri just hit the three into the lane. Double contact up and in. That is big from him. So now for sure it's our biggest lead of the game. Six points as we've broken 30. Anytime we can break 40 points in a game, it seems to be decent. As they are going to just continue to dribble this one out. Oh. Got bamboozled there. I know they should be looking for three-point shots, but it's just into the paint consistently. Trying not to foul. Trying to stay in front of my man. Late jump in there, but again, they're missing the shot, and this could be big. Ray Braxton pushing it up. They're slow in transition. We don't have anything there, but we do have Caldwell along the baseline, and he has the layup just short. Oh, we almost stole that one. Oh, that would have been big. All right, a couple minutes already gone out of this second half. 7.52 on the clock. And a big stop here would be nice. If we can get a stop and score on the other end, it's going to start to really put pressure on Bucknell. They're really dribbling out the clock on this possession. Got uh, out of position. Now we just have to watch for that quick shot, although they are glitched out, so I guess we're going to give them the ball back. That is hilarious. <laughs> Shot clock violation, but it's a little bit unfair, so we will just uh, take a inbounding violation here, and well, I guess we'll allow them to try that one again. 
One of the problems with playing an old game, but then also playing an old game on an emulator is they get the pass in. And there's some pressure. Oh, ball just stripped out of his hands, but goes out of bounds, so they keep possession. And the question is, can we prevent them from inbounding it? He's having a hard time. Has to pass it to the corner. Clawson got to stay in front of his man there. Pass out for three. Off the rim. Vilma gets the board, and we can again try to push this Clawson into the lane. Oh my gosh, he just got sent to the shadow realm. He was out of bounds there by about three miles. But the refs don't call it. That was like uh, that one time Kevin Durant was out by about three miles. Right in front of the ref. He doesn't see it. They're able to get their own offensive board. Now they're going to the line. That is brutal. Missed call could lead to two points for the Bison. First shot is up and good. And the second shot is also good. Thought that was off for a second, but he sneaks it in. And they're trying to keep this, uh, this pressure up the whole game long. We haven't faltered yet, though. Webster... Had the chance maybe to take a little shot there, but just elected to go or to not take it. Braxton trying to get the man under the screen, but we just catch him out of position. Try to get the drive. The strong right hand goes up, but the body from the center there just enough to cause the shot to miss. So now we are scoreless in the last two minutes, which is a problem. Four point lead. Decent drive here. Kind of got bamboozled. Dumps it off. No way he takes this shot, so I'm not worried about it yet. But if they can continue to get in, that's what we were worried about. Strong finish. Couldn't do anything there. Maybe we can push the tempo. <laughs> Jason West, just back him down. If they want to go inside, we can do the same. And West, the turnaround is good. Beautiful shot. Really hoping that we can get the win. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire once again. Pass to the corner. I don't think... Well, no, it's 21. He is a shooter. Pass tipped by Braxton or by Clawson. Braxton recovers. And on the fast break, the layup is good through the contact. Every once in a while, things look really good for us. That time, he's going coast to coast, but misses. Goes into the body of our big men, and it just doesn't work out. Passing it. We don't want West... Dribbling the ball up the court. But what we do want is for West to kind of take a step inside. If we could find him, that would be big. Down low. Pass gets fronted. They're able to tip it away and recover it. That's a shame. Just got to slow him down again, though. Seems like they're looking to go inside once again. Great spin move. West puts the wrong arm up to block that one. So it's up and in. And again, the lead cut down to four. Braxton... Risky pass over the top. A pass out to Omri Webster. I think it's a long two. It's off, but Clawson with the offensive board, and he puts it up and in. Seems like everybody's getting involved on offense today, which we love to see. And again, just trying to stay in front of him. We don't want them driving. A little bit of pressure. He's stepping out of bounds the whole time there, refs. Nothing doing. The spin move is off, and this is our chance. Make the refs pay for the bad call. I want to splash one home with Ray Braxton. They're not covering it very well. If they don't step up, this could be trouble. Ray, oh no, fully covered, misses the three. I misjudged how quickly he would be able to get around the screen there. And oh, well that was just stupid. Get called for the reach, just kind of slapped him on the hip there. Thankfully, not a shooting foul, but we don't want to be in foul trouble at all in this game. West will head to the bench as Bolton gets out here and Webster, oh, the pass right at him. We almost deflected it, almost deflected it again. Omri trying to get involved defensively. Just not quite working. What can Vilma do? Trying to take a charge here, maybe? That would have been a block if they called it anything. Bolton gets a nice board there, and Ray Braxton up ahead. Can't get him to buy on the pump fake. Drives in. Makes it okay? That was just terrible. Tried to get him to pump fake and then just kind of spin along the baseline, but doesn't work out that way. And now they have a chance to, again, reduce this deficit. This game's starting to wind down now. 3.18 on the clock. Still maintaining that six-point lead. We had a chance to increase it to the largest of the game, but it's not the case. This is going to be a long three, isn't it? He doesn't have time for anything else. We got hit on the screen, so he's kind of wide open. Bolton able to get the board. Let's push it up to Kloss, and again, we're pushing the pace here. Can't allow them to get back if their transition's bad. Oh, no. Vilma's shooting that one. He hit it? Are you kidding me? A nine-point lead. The most unlikely man to hit a three in all of the game. 
and he splashes it home. That was a thing of beauty. Maybe we can just stop the drive. Ooh, tough layup. Can't be too upset with that. We did a good job defending it, but if they're just going to make the shot, they're going to make the shot. But can they stop Ray Braxton? Or his passing ability? Clawson, wide open. Made it from the block. You can't leave him that open. Lead extends back up to three. Or to, to three, to nine. 16 points in the paint for us. It's working well for us so far. And with 2.12 left in the game, short of a collapse here, it feels like we have it in the bag. Just got to prevent them from making easy shots. Make them work to even get an open look. And we'll be okay. Two minutes now in this final half of play. What are they going to do? They do have possession. But again, just burning the entire shot clock. And it's going to be a long three. Off of the dribble. No way. He makes that one. We get the board. And again, we can push. We can really look to put this one away here. Bolton. All too easy. You got to dunk that big fella. <laughs> we need a little bit more hype. than a little jump step reverse layup. The let's go bison chant. Ringing out here in the arena. But they're down 11. So they're going to need to get a move on it, but just not enough time. Braxton stepping up, trying to force something. Can we get him in the corner? Another pass. They need threes. We know that. They don't have time to be taking twos with the way that we are playing right now. But just burning the shot clock. This is the third possession in a row where they're going to spend all 35 seconds. And it's another terrible shot attempt. That one's off. Recovered by Braxton, and they're going to have to start fouling. You know, I didn't think about this, but uh, as the bench unit kind of comes in, this is where we're in trouble. I'm not good at shooting free, throw th free throws in this game. So this could be a very valid strategy just to foul me, send me to the line, and have me miss a bunch of shots. Vaughn trying to get open. Every second that we can burn is big. That should be at least one or two off the clock trying to get the pass off, but we don't, so... At least we're getting their guys into foul trouble real quick here. I think one more puts us to the line for a bonus one and one. Pass to Clawson. Another pass in, and Harvey's got it. Probably not the guy that we want going to the line. So Jamal Vaughn, for his first free throw attempt of the season, he's a pretty good free throw shooter. So gets the first of the one and one. And we can make this, uh, again, an 11-point lead. Up and in. What are they going to do? It doesn't look good if you're a Bucknell fan right now. Just got to defend against the three, honestly. Not allow anything stupid, and we should be fine. Even if they want to go in and, you know, fight away in the paint, it's not going to work for them. It's a little bit too late. That's a three open look, but it's off. We get the board. They might have just resigned. No fouls here. Vaughn able to dribble it up. We're definitely going to be looking for another uh, shot here. That's just kind of what we do here. But... As far as I'm concerned, inside 10 seconds left. This one is over. Give it to Harvey. Let him back down his man, and we'll look for a little buzzer beater here. Oh, we missed it. But we are on to the semifinals. An easy win in round two after having to win it with a buzzer beater in round one. And that was just a, a solid team effort as far as I'm concerned. Didn't feel like we got carried by any one particular person. Bucknell unable to make shots when it mattered. Ray Braxton is our player of the game with nine points and three rebounds. But again, a team effort as we are heading to the semifinal rounds. Not sure who we're going to have a chance to play. But the way that we're clicking right now, you got to feel pretty confident that we have a chance to make the finals. At the end of it, though... A nice 11-point victory, and we can feel good about that one as we get our second win of the season, and we are starting maybe to roll. Again, Ray Braxton, our player of the game, nine points, but more importantly than the rebounds that he got, two steals and three assists, only 25% from three, which continues to be a problem for us, but looked pretty solid. As a team, Tim Clawson, of all players, led the team in points. 10 points there on the game. The only player in double digits. And a guy that we didn't expect to do any scoring, really, this season. Uh, Eric Vilma with the six rebounds. Omri Webster tying Ray Braxton for most assists. We had the one block of Eric Vilma, who honestly, close to being player of the game in my eyes. Especially because 
he shot a three. I don't know why we took two with him, let alone one, but the fact that he was able to go 50% is pretty impressive. Uh, Omri also 50% and Ray just hit the one. So three threes for the game is okay for us, but I want to see those numbers go up a little bit. And I think a big reason why this game was so successful for us was we didn't foul. And we weren't fouled a lot either, so we didn't have to go to the line often. So it's two and two now. Who are we playing in the semifinal round? Uh, let's advance through the day and see. Uh, we get to skip this round and we're playing Auburn in the, the finals? I'm so confused at the layout of this tournament. Oh, well, my bad. It's a three round. Apparently round two was the semifinals. Auburn took out uh, the University of Arkansas Little Rock in their semifinal matchup. So that's where it's going to be. I guess this uh, Saturday is for the consolation to see who was able to do what. So crazy that that's where we're at. And how about this upset at the beginning of the bracket? Oh, <laughs> kind of thought it was going to be like Arizona State. It's Alabama State. Uh, <laughs> they got beat down pretty bad. Well, I guess outside of that, we did see some recruiting movement on the two days or so that we've simmed through in this episode. You can see here on the right-hand side, we've got some up arrows for a few players. So some players starting to take more interest in us. Unfortunately, our top two guys in Brian Nicholson and Elihu Amos are still just kind of feeling out the waters with us. But the shooting guard, Leon Postel, who we were excited about, number 20 in the country, the number 13 shooting guard in the country, which is weird that uh, there's that many good shooting guards, but his interest has gone up with us, which is really nice to see. Well, now that we know that he does have a little bit of interest in us, I think that we're willing to give him something. Uh, Manu Edmonds is a guy who I would like to maybe pursue a little bit more, but again, he doesn't really have a huge amount of interest in us either. I mean, it says highest, but we're not on his list there. <laughs> so I'm not sure what we got going on there, but uh, our, our two power forwards in the shooting guard, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit more. Uh, maybe give him a little bit of talking to. We'll see here. I know that we want Leon Postel. The question is, what can we do? <laughs> uh, uh, for sure, we can offer a scholarship to all three of those guys. If we end up with both of the power forwards, that wouldn't be the end of the world either. But the one thing that we got to be careful about is just spending our points too quickly. So I think maybe we make a, a, a phone call with the head coach and try and get on on that. And I'm not really sure uh, what we want to talk about. I don't think our team prestige is incredible, but I do know that our, we can offer him a lot of playing time. So that's what we're going to pitch uh, Leon Postel on is playing time as a freshman. He, he would absolutely start for us. That's going to use up a big chunk of our points, though, so we got to be a little bit more careful. With Elihu Amos, I'm feeling pretty similar there. We're going to offer him a scholarship and talk to the headphone, or talk, uh, give him a phone call. Not going to pawn that off to any of our assistant coaches. Actually, ooh, well, we are just going to talk to him. We'll talk to him about playing time as well. That puts us down to 76 points on the season, which is not great news for us. Uh, and then we're going to talk to nobody else. We're going to, we're going to hold off on some other guys for now because I'm getting a little bit worried. So there we are. Uh, again, I'm fairly certain I'm going to screw up the recruiting in some way. That's part of the learning process of becoming a, a head basketball coach for the first time. So it is what it is. That's also going to do it for this episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying these basketball ones. I'm intentionally keeping them a little bit shorter just as a nice change of pace and that way it makes things a little bit easier for myself but if you guys want me to continue this you got to make sure that you're hitting the like button on these videos because that's the easiest way for me to tell if you guys are engaged and enjoying them as always after you like the video please subscribe if you haven't done so already again we are nearing uh 5 000 subs on the channel which would be absolutely phenomenal and once you're done with that, head down to the description where you can find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster, where I think that we might be starting a new CFB revamp dynasty on that we exclusively do on live streams. But then there's also links including uh, my Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, uh, our community Discord, the CFB revamped mod if you're trying to get it for yourself. There's a whole handful of links to go down and check out.
But all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Blue Demons. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.